All right, ladies, on this video, I'm going to show you how to put the map files into your mod map for Relight. Such Sneak has came up with this, and there's been a couple different versions out already. It is great. I will post the link to his itch.io in the description below. And as you can see, just scrolling through the examples, I enjoy it. It doesn't hinder the FPS or nothing. We're actually changing the base game files and the lighting files to do so. And you can see this is stock FS and this is his. And we got a lot brighter environment with a lot darker shadows. And even the trailer and everything are just more vibrant. I have struggled trying to figure it out for myself with my own or the own shaders and everything. But if you scroll down, you'll see a bunch of different things. And this is a version 1.1 map files, standalone map files, standalone pro shot fix, and standalone. It is simple. If you just want to do the standalone, put it right into your mod folder, work for any map that you do, any map that you play on, that's fine. I agree with that. The only issue is when you go that route, it comes with an environment. XML. In this environment, XML is your latitude. So depending on what map you play with, what area it's from, that will change. So I think this one was for Westby, if I remember correctly. The Elm Creek is like 40.9 or something like that. And with that changes your growth states and all that when things are ready. So if you wanted to play in Brazil, you could change it to Brazil. If you wanted to play in Europe, you could change it to Europe type thing. That's the only thing I look at in this. So with standalone, you'd have to change it every time you load to a different map. You remember to go in there and change the environment latitude to what one you're playing with. So I got relight map files. I'm going to show you guys how to plug them right into a map. Right now, I want to do it to Huron County, and I went too far already. Once you click and have it unzipped, once you click on it, right there is where we're going to put everything. But the uh, I keep the README out. So I copy everything over, so I have this for, it's still in my downloads for any map. I'm going to paste all these right in here. And then I'm going to click on my environment XML. I'm going to cut that out. We are going to run into here. And it depending on where it is, file, however they did it, you might be able to find the environmental XML. And you got to move that around or at least change the file path around to be correct. But you can see in Huron, we do not have one. So therefore, I plug it in. I'm going to go to my map. XML. And right here, this one was already reading off of the Elm Creek one, which is fine, but I want it to read off of exactly where Huron is in Michigan. So we come back here, we're into the main folder, then we click Maps, Map US, and there's our environmental XML, or the environment XML, excuse me. So we have that changed correctly. Now, I'm going to go back to my environment, XML. We're going to open it up, and this is what I change for, and I figured out Bad Axe is like right in the center of Huron County, Michigan. So this is what we're going to put in there. I'm going to put 43.8, just to keep it simple. And you guys can do it however you want but this way every map i decide to play on will have its own environment and we'll pop into the game here quick and cross your fingers that i didn't break anything all right guys now that we're in game i can tell right away relight has worked depending on what time of day it is and everything will depend on your brightness that is the great part but the other awesome part is the shadows. Look how realistic the shadows are. 
this is why I use Relight and also just simply showing you guys how to put Relight to your map and changing the environment around to match the area. And I clicked on the wrong thing. So we kind of just smudge it a little bit. It's not a whole lot different. We can change the growth through the growth XML and all that. But the biggest part is it will keep the snow and all that coming in correctly. So we should be hitting snow in December, January area for Huron, Michigan. And as of right now, if you guys have any more questions, go ahead and comment below. But we are going to see what happens throughout Relight and continue to support such sneak. And I enjoy watching what he's going to have coming about.